panel of information technology and broadcasting arranged a special meeting in Lechko discussing the approval of free-to-air TV license. Ricky Wong, the head of HKTVN, and Gregory So, the Secretary of Commerce and Economic Development, eventually had the chance to debate together. At the beginning, Ricky Wong expressed his feelings by quoting some content of a book. And uh, lastly, uh, students always ask me, Ricky, will you give up? Once again, I quote page 47 of the same book. And it goes, Hong Kong people is lovely because Hong Kong people are um, determined and they're hardworking and they have a, a high spirit that cannot be defeated. If we share the same dream, we have to pursue it. First of all, we have to take stock of reality and know what is in store and then try to see the same thing from different perspectives and then try to think out of the box. The, the book is written by our chief executive, C.Y. Leung. Lawmakers focused on a communication authorities document which reveals that three candidates are capable in financial ability, specific knowledge and infrastructure of transmission, as well as determination in providing quality television programs to local audience. Therefore, the OFCA suggests three companies shall be granted with free-to-air TV licenses. As the consultant report suggests that the market might not be able to support five stations to operate sustainably, Ofka said operational sustainability is not the most important factor as the report did not take business strategies changes and competitions into account. Spokesmen from Ofka emphasized they had already considered the possible impact to the current stations but do not think that the government has the obligation to protect the interests of current TV stations and neither shall remain status quo nor bar new competitors from entering the market. And after providing the approval suggestions to CY Leung, Chief Executive in Council asked the OFCA to reconsider and respond to the application, but they insisted that it is unnecessary to alter the original suggestions. The document also pointed out that the authority did not know the Exco has to issue licenses with an orderly and gradual manner or rank three candidates. Although Ambrose Ho, the chairman of Communications Authority, refused to attend the meeting, but such documents aroused doubts from various councillors. During 2012 and 13, on a number of occasions, a use of the views of the authority. How come, in terms of the two important factors, a gradual and orderly approach and the ranking, you did not seek the view of the authority? Why did you not? And in the decision, making process of the ESCO, they have taken into account um, the relevant factors, the overall sustainability of the market, and then they made a decision. Prior to making that decision, they invited um, the free applicants to make representation. So there are a lot more that the, the scope of consideration by the ESCO is, uh, is wider. But that's the law states that uh, if new elements are um, added uh, to considerations of the decision, are they required to revert uh, to the um, authority to seek their view before a decision is made? Before we proceed, it, we follow what is required under the law, and under the law, it doesn't say that we have to uh, get a view from the authority before we make a decision. So we have acted in accordance with the law. Some councillors do wonder why the document appears at this moment. Uh, the paper submitted to us. Um, there's not a date, there's just a month in November. I think it's the purpose, there's not a date. Is it because the paper 
and the paper was uh, long prepared, and you had to wait till we finished our meeting yesterday before you submitted the paper. That's why you didn't dare to give a date. Well, this um, technical department, like the communications authority, has got uh, is independent. It has the nerve to um, speak um, the truth. Ricky Wong further reviewed how the government officials invited him applying for his TV license for twice. Now, there are a lot of reports that there's an official who promised to give you a license. Uh, uh, could you name that person? Um, you know, in what tone did uh, this official tell you that the license would be issued to you? When did it happen? I think it should be 2010. It was in 2010 at in the official's office. At that time, the way was put was, as long as my, our company could meet the statutory conditions for issuing a license, then the government would have no reason not to grant us a license. Um, Many pan-democrats proposed a disclosure of approval-related documents held by Ricky Wong by using power and privilege ordinance. Wong said he is willing to disclose if he is allowed to do so, but the bill was banned due to opposition from DAB and the pro-establishment camp. Gregory so denied there is disharmony within the administration, but reinstated that the authority issued license with accordance to the broadcasting ordinance. He added that the Exco has considered the suggestions from the OFCA, and they might not reach consensus every time, and he will consider the market situation if there are further application in the future. Lauren Chan, DHK News.